Hey everybody, I'm Manny. Welcome back to my channel, SoCal Shave. So, uh, uh, let's get into the products. And today we're going to be doing another uh, blade review um, with uh, Persona uh, Israeli Reds. Or uh, Persona Reds, however you want to call them. Um, then we're going to be going in with Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Gondolier. Or gondolier, gon, gondolier, sorry. And I got my uh, pug blooming here. I don't want to drop the water, but it's it's in there uh, because it is in this um, tin. I'm gonna be going with. Uh, got my brush blooming. It's the Omega Professional board board brush inside my uh, humongous ass uh, walking dead coffee cup with Daryl on it. Uh, gonna be following it up with um, Thayer's Witch Hazel Medicated. Follow with the After Shave Splash. Then with the Nivea Man After Shave Balm. And gonna be going in with the Rockwell today um, because uh, this Rockwell's been working really good with me. Uh, for me these last past couple of shaves since I've gotten it and some of these these blades like I like I said before on the, my uh, Previous videos there's some of the blades that I reviewed uh, Mentally when I was doing my own shaving um, off video um, Before I started doing shaving videos So there was just like a mental note of blades that I like and didn't like and those are some of the blades I didn't like um, and I use them in some some of, in some of my several bridges that I, I own and they just didn't work well for me. So i um, going to be going in and doing it with this razor because this razor has been doing really good with different blades. Unfortunately, the last blades didn't work uh, as well as I wanted to, the uh, pole silvers. Um, but we're going to give these a try and see how these do. And then we're going to be obviously going in with my favorite blade. I'm mean, not my favorite blade, but uh, my favorite, um, the R4 plate cap. And... Uh, so let's get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and load it up. So how's everybody been doing? Been doing. Hope everybody's doing well, doing great. Um, for me, not too good. Um, kind of got into it with the. Um, didn't really get into it, but uh, I was having some issues with this guy who was gonna be giving me these. Uh, who I uh, had a contract or was. I had a contract with him. We were supposed to, you know, get get on the road and and um, going back over the road, 48, 48, um, lower 48 states. Um, it just felt like he was he wasn't serious about it. You know, I worked with him in the past before. He's a good dude. Um, I don't understand, you know, why it was taking him so long to get the contract go up and going. Um, just you know, it was just you know. Like, it felt like we were playing games, you know. He had me get all these permits and stuff that we needed, and and you know to get going. I've done this job before, you know. I um, what I'm talking about is I'm a truck driver, over the road truck driver, right? And I pulled reefer unit, or I pulled reefer unit before, and um, it just seemed like you know um, he was asking for so much. He, you know, he wanted all these permits, all this stuff that you know I knew that I already needed, you know, but you know. To being an owner operator it's a different situation so now i gotta get my own permits and stuff like that and the permits i currently own uh or we con currently own now as a co as a growing company um uh, we're doing dry van so everything that's in a dry trailer um opposed to doing this would be um refrigerated loads reefer loads and if we can't get any of those loads we come back with the dry load um but it just felt like we were playing games you know so let me go ahead and uh, wet my face. Yeah, and I just decided to pull the pull the trigger and say, no, we're not gonna do it anymore, man. You know, it 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 took too long, just waiting and waiting and waiting, and it just wasn't gonna happen. You know what I mean? Let me pour my boom water into my mug and 
and it sucks because um, I was looking forward to uh, meeting a lot of um, uh, my followers and um, I'm gonna go ahead and bloom with this start blooming the pup um, I was you know I have plans on meeting some of my followers I have plans of meeting uh, some of my buddies who are local uh, wet shavers and youtubers you know and I was looking forward to meeting new uh, wet shavers and youtubers you know while I was on the road because that's what I did last time you know when I was out on the road out and about I met a lot of great people and I was hoping to meet some of you guys you guys know who you are um, and it sucks man I'm sorry guys I really am um, things just didn't work out but um I guess it's just a sign. I, I saw a lot of things that were going on. You know, I was getting signs here and signs there. And I said, this just doesn't seem right. Something's not right. You know, it wasn't meant to be. Why push it? If I push it, you know, the outcome isn't going to be great. You know? So, I got this loaded really well. I didn't load very long. Um, check that out. And I still got plenty in here. I'm go ahead and rinse off the puck. Yeah, and um, I was just heavily frustrated, you know. We just felt like we were playing games. We didn't want to do it anymore, you know. We have a business to run, man. I ain't got time for all these games, you know. Not that I'm saying he was actually playing games, but it's what I, it's what I felt was happening. Yeah, so that sucked. So as I was telling Nomio, Nomio, if you're watching, these um, these uh, PAA soaps don't have to load very heavy, don't have to load very long. They do very well. This, um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is a different formula. This is their first formula because um, the properties to me feel a little different. And um, compared to their uh, big puck, it feels different to me for some reason. I don't know if any of you guys understand or are going, or have experienced that. And this thing is, oh man, this thing is just getting blown way out of proportion. Check that out. Oh Jesus! I've used this brush in a very long time. It's one of my favorite brushes. It's the Omega. Like I said, the Omega Professional. The little label has come off already. Um, cause it's not waterproof and, um, little side note, uh, for some, uh, little information, um, there's been, a um, a couple of mentions, a little couple, you know, little comments here and there, you know, people are asking and wondering, you know, they don't understand what the benefits are of, um, of bowl lathering, you know, cause you're supposed to exfoliate and so on and so forth, you know? And uh, Carrie from uh, Phoenix and Bow had mentioned it on his channel, on his live channel, I believe. Um, so, Carrie, if you're if you're listening, um, well, this is my situation, Carrie. Um, I suffer from um, very oily skin. I break out a lot, man. You know, it's it's been, I've been like that since I was young. Um, it sucks, but it's you know, unfortunately, it's just the way it is. That's that's the way. My skin is, you know, and I, I do break a lot, break out a lot because I do have oily skin. Um, so, uh, due to that fact, um, I do um, exfoliate and I clean out my uh, face fairly well. 
while I'm in the shower because it does make a mess, you know, over the sink and you're scrubbing and make have water all over the place. So I do it in the shower. Get some of this bloom water on my face. So I um, exfoliate in the shower and I use a um, face scrub. I use the um, here. Let me let me grab that for you. Should have been prepared, but you know I just came up. I use this face scrubber here. So I exfoliate in the shower. So there's no need to sit here and exfoliate. all over again and I know a lot of people say you know go with the grain uh, to lift the hairs up it works well um, I don't see any difference I've done it you know do this it I don't see any difference So a lot of people, you know, do do face lather because they do exfoliate because they don't, they you know, um, they don't exfoliate in the shower. They don't use face scrub. Maybe I don't know if that's the issue, but that's that's the uh, that's the behind the scenes for me. This is why I do it this way. And for any of you others who are watching, you know, maybe you guys do the same thing I do. All right, so let's go on with the shave. This is the first pass um, with the grain. I don't think this blade's gonna cut it. That's why I'm slowing down, I can feel it.
All right, let me uh, rinse off and I'll be back for the second pass. All right, back guys. Going with the second pass. Cross grain. I just noticed right now, I nicked myself. I felt that blade doing that. Love this brush. <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> I busted a dispenser. I didn't spit it, but I, I, I ate it. Needless to say, hey, it doesn't taste that bad. Yeah, so about the... Um, Bought the face lather, the bow lather. Tooch is on, you know? Everybody, everybody does it a little different. I'm not, you know, I'm not judging anybody. Just, just explaining, you know? It's almost asking a question and I explained it. And that's why. Or uh, he was wondering, I mean. And this blade is, I believe, on its second use. Yeah, I've used it once in the in the past before. Um, I've used this is the second time using one of these blades. The first one I only got three shades out of it. It just wasn't for me. And the second time, I used I when I put a, a first use on that blade. I don't remember what I used it for. I think I got a new razor at the time. I got an ingrown hair here the other day with that persona, or not the persona, but the um, the um, pulsar. All right, so let me, um, oh, I was gonna say rinse off, but I guess not. All right, so now let me rinse off. And I'll be back with pass number three against the green. Right, bad guys, third pass against the green.
Yeah, so I was talking on uh, Nomeo about these videos, you know. I had mentioned it to uh, Chris Maiden also. How you miss one day of not watching somebody's uh, subscription or YouTube YouTuber wet shaving videos and you're backed up, you know. And uh, I like to, oh, hold up, we're doing it against the green. Um, I like to follow everybody. As they're putting them out. Forgive me, that's my sensitive area, so I gotta be careful. Because uh, as people are, are conversating, you know, or on the live chat, you know, with Cap or JC. Oh, the lid is barely doing the job. So, um, because as everyone is chatting, you know, or mentioning something, someone comments something and you don't understand, you're like, what the hell? What are you talking about? Because you missed the video. You know, <laughs> you missed the conversation about something. So that's why I don't like to miss. I like to be in the loop. This blade is barely cutting it, pun intended. This blade is having a hard time getting through my coarse, my coarse whiskers.
It looks like it made it. Barely made it. All right, fellas. Let me uh, rinse off. Let me back. Um, let me rinse off, and I'm gonna do my cleanup pass off camera. I'll be back. All right, I'm back, guys. Just finished up my cleanup passes off camera. Gonna go ahead and go in with the Allen block. Hopefully I don't drop this. A little stinging. Open this area right here. 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 Um, in this area. Brush is just caked. Look, <laughs> this thing holds an amazing amount of leather, man. And you guys all know how his how uh, PA stuff works. I mean, it's good stuff, good cushion. <laughs> Look at that. Like I was saying there, I mean, look, I still got plenty of soap in there. I got, um, for some reason, I feel like, like I was saying before, like I got a better, a better, um, slicker lather with the other formula. I don't know if it is, if it is a different formula. Or just the soap itself, maybe just a different, maybe um, uh, the scent being as strong as they are has a little a bit of an impact on the soap, I don't know. Good stuff though, but definitely uh, feel a difference. And sorry for the hat guys, again. But uh, just got off the shower. Gonna be chilling and relaxing, watching some Netflix. I've been on this. Um, I've been on this um, binge watch with uh, Orange Is the New Black. Can't stop watching it, man. So um, yes, yeah, so I just got out the shower. Didn't feel like doing my hair just to relax around the house, so the hat will come off afterward. But I, my hair is, I got short hair, but still, you know. Going with the aftershave. And uh, like I said before, I went with the uh, Thayer's Medicated Witch Hazel. And I'm gonna go ahead and go with a nice dose of aftershave.
nice menthol. Take that hat off a little bit. Douglas, <laughs> this is for you, buddy. Compliments of G.I. Jam and James. Hey, man. Just following my buddy. For those of you who don't know, Inside Joke, watch uh, G.I. Jam and James' latest video, or one of his latest videos. Um, but a few day, about a day, day or two ago, and I'm gonna go on with the uh, Nivea Sensitive Aftershave Balm. Shake it up. And even though I have oily skin, not that this is oily, but um, regardless if I do use a, an oily, um, not necessarily an oily, but like a balm or a, or a um, lotion or what have you, um, I have to have some kind of moisture on my face. Have to. All right, guys. So that's my shave. Um, sorry to bore you to death. Um, It was something I needed to mention. I forgot what I, what, what I was uh, going to tell you guys. But um, anyhow, that's my shave. Um, you guys already saw the gear. I don't want to have to go through it again. Just to make the a video a little, a little shorter. Hopefully it gets a little shorter. Um, but if you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, you yeah, have a good one. Take it easy, guys. Bye.